I'm your host, Show Me Cash. We back with another one at the sit down. You know what? Let, let, let the people know your name, gang. My name is Big K, Big King, yeah. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> I had, you know, some of the fans, you know, throw some some questions at you. They 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 really, they really itching for you to answer some of these. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, say less. <clears throat> um, can you tell us about your inspiration behind your latest single? My inspiration behind my latest single is Bow, Ray Nitty, and Milwaukee. I grew up listening to that song. We grew up dancing to that, like one Bow. One. Put one hand on your head and drink your body like about, about. But it's 2024, so yeah. I had to spice it up. I had to bring it for the new kids. Like mm-hmm. I had to bring it for my age group to like the teenagers right now. Mm-hmm. Cause it's already we already got the the eater up dance. We already got all that. Why not put our own city back on, but spice it up, mix it mm-hmm. up, you know? Mm-hmm. With a new New little mix about it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's my mix with it. Hey, no, and I like that because Bow reached up here and, like, man, I, I used to work at the Boys and Girls Club and all them kids was just, you know, coming in, shaking their shit. I'm like, yo, what is that, G? Like, what, 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 what is that? Yo, that, that new, Bow. yeah, that new Ray Diddy. Uh, like, so, um, can I want to talk about what, what's that one single you got? What, what is it, Walla? Walla Walla. Walla Walla. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I, I just got to ask, bro, like, so it was a clip of you running on stage and <laughs> running on stage, checking the crowd. What, what's up with that? Was the, What was the, that about? The, the reason behind that was because two weeks prior to me having my party or whatever, not even two weeks, it was a few weeks, they was trolling me. They have been trolling me on Facebook, make, talk about my song. A girl made a whole diss about the song before I even, she dissed me before I even dropped the song. What? And it's just like, where, where dang, was I at? can't. In Milwaukee. Oh, oh it was at Prime Social, my birthday party. Oh, no. My 21st birthday party. I just no. turned 21 uh, six days ago. Oh, shout out to. So, like. That's crazy. They was trolling. They was trolling, talking about my song, making statuses about my song. Even though you got to let the trolls troll, because yeah. they trolls, I had to troll the trolls. <laughs> so, I trolled the trolls, and I trolled the stage. It wasn't even that I trolled the stage. I was talking to a group of people, and I looked at them the whole time I said that. Right. It wasn't I was talking to a Pacific. I wasn't talking to the whole crowd. Why would I speak to my fans like that? I was speaking to my haters like that. Mm. Just as if Nicki Minaj didn't go out on stage and cuss the crowd out before. Right, right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. No. Because if I want to speak my mind, I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to always be myself. So why was they trolling, though? Like, I don't get that. They That's was trolling. Banger, they said though. my That's song a... was horrible. They, they were saying I need to stop, that she can't be for real. It's it a was clip just of them a dancing to it, though. It was a clip of them <clears> dancing to it. But it's not even that. It was just a whole bunch of bandwagon. It was like oh, one person shared okay. it and said they didn't like it. Then a whole bunch of other people started saying they didn't like it. Oh, okay. So it was just something like that. That's a banger, though. That is a banger. Hey, shout out to, you know, happy belated birthday, too. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, how do you connect with your audience during your live performance? Um, I connect with my audience by looking at them. Not even looking at them, but basically, like, rapping with them. Rapping, okay. rapping the songs with them, like. Walla walla, dance with it, like hyping her up, hyping mm-hmm. the girls up in the crowd. Cause I make a tw- I make dancing music. Hey, I want my music to be dancing. Music. So yeah. when they dance in a walla, they walling. So like I'm hyping her up, like yeah, get it, yeah. get it right there. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, let me ask you this: How do you stay true to yourself and true to your roots while evolving your sound? Because you know everybody always going to copy a sound from a new up and coming artist or a new artist that's in the industry. So how do you stay true to your sound? Just be myself, worry about me and worry about what I got going on. I'm not worried about what she rapping about. I'm not worried about what he rapping about, but it's like, if that's what's popping right now, I mean, I could add a little bit of that to mine too. Just how they can add a little bit of mine in the ears because we in the industry, right? Everybody go copy everybody. Not saying it like that, but no, I'm yeah. saying it like that. Cause right. it's like, it's not, it don't be personal. Right. It's for publicity. <laughs> It's for you and me. <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay. So, you know, since you've been doing numbers, you know, everybody's becoming a fan and stuff. Um, can you share a memorable moment while gaining all this new success? Yeah. A memorable moment was when I went to Carmen's high school prom and I performed at their prom. And it was just like, in my head, I'm like, this happening so fast. It's like people who've been doing this for years still haven't even did nothing that I'm doing. And I don't think I'm better than nobody because I'm always humble. Right. But it's like for me to perform at a high school prom, then I just performed at a little kid birthday party. Like <laughs> this is real life. Like people real life love me and love mm. what I do. So it's like when I went in there for the prom, 
the kids was like, play her song, play Walla so we could dance. Like, uh, y'all at y'all prime wanted them to listen to me. Can't wait for me to perform. Like, that made me feel so good. Like, and also another memorable moment was when I performed at the rave before oh, okay. um, the opening for Skilla Baby. Yeah. Them girls made me feel like I was a like I am a celebrity because I got to speak it into existence. Yeah, balling now, come on! But now. it's like don't, don't, your they don't made lie. me feel like I was like yeah. Cardi B. <laughs> That's dope. That's so dope. Hold on, hold on now. Don't be don't be down on yourself over there now because I ain't you, never. You, yeah, you, yeah. You I balling. Gotta, you balling. I, I'm balling. I got to yeah, speak yeah, it into existence. Them numbers. Them numbers. Uh, what doing they it. say? Men lie, women lie, but numbers don't. Them numbers ain't them lying. Numbers ain't lying, oh and God. I manifested it. Yeah, oh, I manifested. So, yeah, it. let's talk about that. How did you? How did you get into music and stuff? Like, how did you? Necessarily, I necessarily never wanted to do music. I'm not even gonna sit here and say I wanted to. <clears throat> it never was in my plan for me to be a rapper. Like I spoke on it before, but it was like I never took music serious. What really got me to where I am was me dancing on Instagram, me doing an eater up oh. dance, or me dancing to JP song. Shout out to both of them because Shout at the end them. of the yeah. day. I got my following, not from them, but like their song did help, help me hype it up. Yeah. But me just being myself got me to where I am. But for sure, like my music though, shout out to Wavy and um, Wavy and TK. Mm. They they didn't they made me make a hit. They helped me make a hit. Shout out them. Shout out them. Man, Literally. That's crazy. So that's how you so you just got into music from dancing and yeah, pretty much from there. And just. then once I kept seeing like my V, my I was after I started to get 300k off every video I posted, mm -hmm. it was just like you need to make this make sense. So when people start DMing me, like, why you don't rap? Start rapping. Then my mom and my uh manager was like, you need to start rapping. And my auntie, mm -hmm. well, best manager in the world, shout out to my manager. She literally pushing me to be the best that I can be. <clears throat> And I love that for her. I mean, I love that for me. Right. And I love that for her, too, because she watching her niece, literally. Oh, shout out, auntie. Yeah. She watching her niece blow up. Yeah, she got your best Right interest. before her eyes. Yeah. So it's like, that's really where music, she wanted me to do it. So Okay, okay. Well, then that's and good. to see that I could do it, and I'm literally booked for shows, and I just started a month ago. It, oh, it's insane. Oh, 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 let's back up. You just started a month ago? My music, yeah. What? I just started. Go crazy. Yeah. See? Hard work, hard work and dedication. What you say, you manifest it? Manifest Come everything that I got because the on. power of the tongue is very powerful. Everything that I said that's happening for me is happening because I spoke it. I literally speak it. I write it down. I will be famous. I am famous. I, and I am walking mm -hmm. it daily. So that's what you got to leave. Y'all need to believe in the power of manifestation. Manifest what you want. All these celebrities will tell you what they be doing. They manifest. They manifest. I've been manifesting for years, not just now. So you can't just think it's gonna happen overnight. If you write it today, right. oh, I'm gonna be rich tomorrow. No, you got to put the dedication. You got to put the work in. If you want it to happen, it's gonna happen. But you got to have that hope and that, you know. Yeah, no, you no, no. Have yeah, that yeah. In you to, yeah. to to know it's gonna happen for no, you. No, absolutely. You gotta have that because without that, you, you're not you ain't gonna got get nothing. Hurt. Like you can say Thank it. God and then, too. Oh, God got to be first. God, God is first, literally. Yeah, God got to be first. But you can say it, and then if you don't act on it, like you said, and don't put the work in. It ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. That's why it wasn't happening for me, because I wasn't putting the work in. Now I'm putting the work in, and everything is flowing in my, it's, it's in my favor. Oh, oh my God. That's just, a, that's amazing to hear, man, because I hear so many artists say, hey, I want to do this. I want to be famous. I want to do this. And, and I don't really see it, mm -hmm. but. I mean, because they stop working when they don't get the results they want, like, right they away. They want to stop, but the, you can't just think you finna be rich from making one song. Yes, and that's what my auntie had to tell me. That's what my manager had to tell me. You're not finna get rich off one song. If you do, that's that's a blessing. But you can't just think you finna get rich off one song. No, you got to keep putting in the work, building your platform, building up what you got going on. Mm -hmm. You make money from content. You make money from other platforms, not just a song. You know what I'm saying? See? You got to... Look at that. Soldier Boy is the only one, like, or I ain't gonna say Soldier Boy, but. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> you never know. You never know. You could make it off one, but, like, it's hard. It's really yeah. hard. So let me ask you this, though. You know, you being 414. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What is your thoughts on Milwaukee coming together, working together, bringing that light on each and every artist, my man? My thought about it is no thought, because that's how we is. Like, mm -hmm. We might hate on, might, like, it might be drama in the city and stuff, but at the end of the day, we always going to come together and unite as one because we is as, we, we're a small city. Right. Nobody really know what Milwaukee is, but they do, but they don't. You know, right, they know what the right. Milwaukee Bucks is, but I done lived in multiple states. I lived in Florida. I grew up in Florida. I went to high school in Florida, middle school. Oh, okay. When I first went to Florida, West Palm Beach, I went to Yeager Middle School. First day at school, I'm telling they like, where are you from? I said, Milwaukee. Nobody knew what Milwaukee was. So really? it's just like, for me to come from a little city and everybody in my city, we all know each other, so we all going to put each other on. JP, 
He blowing up. He J- blew shout up. Shout out JP. Frank. Yeah, Frank. Blew up, blew up. Yeah. They still connected with the city. They still connected with their people. Mm-hmm. They ain't for, like they ain't dissing their city, none of that. That's why everybody fuck with Milwaukee because everybody stay together. Like mm-hmm. we all the same. Like Dang, that's so busting. Cause and even the people that ain't rapping, like my cousin Nas. Me and him, we've been like this our whole life. Like right. everybody used to think we was twins. Most people like because I wasn't rapping at first. Me and Nas blew up, got a hundred thousand followers off Instagram from doing Eat Her Up Dance. Oh, okay, go crazy. So it's like when you stay connected and stay united as like a family, mm-hmm. like most like half my family members like in Milwaukee right now. You look on Instagram, Tamia, my big cousin. Yeah, Nas, my big cousin. All of us literally do the same thing. We all united, like just from just being ourselves. That's busting. That's busting because. I know people who got family members that don't even talk to each other. It's crazy. Yeah. But, and I'm a, I'm really happy to see, because like us being a smaller city, we see Milwaukee working together. We see the light that you guys are sharing on one another and popping up in each other videos and doing little shorts, uh, content and stuff like that. We see that. And we, I can speak for everybody up here. We love seeing that, man, because it, it's hard to see black people actually want to come together because we're naturally yeah. taught to hate each other yeah. and hate on the next person. But in Milwaukee, they're showing nothing but love to each other. And I love and seeing And I love that. it, too. Because I, I really do love seeing that. Shout out all the Milwaukee artists. Shout, Shout out, out to all everybody. y'all, man. Y'all going crazy down there, man. Um, You know what? So let me ask you this. Who is your dream feature? Because you blowing up fast. So, like, you know what I'm saying? like My dream feature. Who your dream like, feature? Somebody get on my song. I ain't gonna keep sharing her name, but you know who I'm finna say. Oh, I say. well, come on, let let them know. Let 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 you know this is a different platform. Let them know. Cardi B. Cardi B. I love Cardi B. <laughs> Cardi but B. before I get to Cardi, I wanted to do one with Sexy Red as well. Cause oh, that'd be we all are, like true artists to be yourself. Just being yourself. No, right, they ain't right. never gonna change. No matter how much money they got, they still the same. And mm-hmm. that's exactly how I'm gonna be myself and stay the same. That's so busting. So even when you blow up, you're not going to turn your back on Milwaukee? I would never turn my back on myself. I, I mean, I didn't live in Milwaukee for real. I didn't live in Milwaukee until, what's this year? I came back to Milwaukee 2022. Oh, okay. I, I didn't live in multiple places. I lived in Atlanta. I lived in Atlanta. I mean, um, West Palm Beach, Florida. Mm-hmm. So it's like, ain't nothing to turn your back on. It's okay. always home. That's always going to be home, huh? So your dream feature is Cardi B, huh? Okay, so... What is one thing that made you smile after becoming a rapper? Like, what's one thing that really went good and just like, man, I'm really Whenever I now. go in a store or whenever I go in public, somebody know who I am. Like, me and my, when me and my boyfriend was just recently in Chicago, mm-hmm. we in Target. The man started doing the dance, then like, walla, walla, like, oh, dang, like, y'all know who now. I am. Like, yeah, it made yeah. me feel good to know people actually like who I am. Like, even when I was just in Walmart, they're mm-hmm. like, oh, that's Kennedy. That's Kennedy. There you go, Kennedy. Like, what? 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 So people knowing your name. People knowing me. Knowing your dance. knowing Makes knowing, me feel good. That makes you smile. I that is it. so dope. So let's talk a little bit about Bow. Bow. How did that song? How did that song even come about again? Okay, okay, Bow came about because I was in a car with my friend Callie. Shout out Callie. <laughs> Chi Chi, that's my girl. I was in a car with Callie. We was listening to music. Yeah. Bow came on. And oh, I was her? just like, I'm finna make a bow. Mm-hmm. Cause I already did Walla. But before me saying Bow, I was just like, Walla, 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 oh. Walla. She was like, No, can you just do the remix? So then I told my manager and she was like, Yeah, that's do, that's dope. Let's do it. Uh TK and Wavy, they got um, in touch with, um, what's his name? Ray Nitty. Oh, Ray Nitty. I, And it got cleared for yeah. me to do it. And there, and that's how Bow happened. He cleared it? hmm That is dope. So he cleared it for another Milwaukee artist to remake his song. Yep. That is so busting. Shout out Ray Nitty, man. That's so Shout that's out Ray busting. Nitty. Because most, most people would not do that because they're afraid of somebody making money off of their creativity and stuff like that. Yeah. That is busting. That is so dope. Shout out Milwaukee, man. I'm jealous. I'm just playing. I'm not jealous. Shout out y'all, man. Um, so how do you how do you balance your your life after becoming a rapper and and and, and artist now? So like personal life, rapper. How do you balance? Mm, is it hard? Kind of, kind of, but not that hard because I got a lot of I got a lot of people with me to help me out. Like got a team. I got a good team. That's dope. I got a good team behind me, so I don't necessarily get overwhelmed and stuff with stuff I got because I got friends that like Ken. This what you want. This what's gonna happen. I got a job, and my job is very understandable about what I got going on. So right. it's like 
When I don't have nothing to do, I go to work. When I don't, when I do got something to do, cool, can take off work and make my money. It's never no, oh, you can't come back here because you don't, your job is more important than what you got going on. No, my mm. job cares about what I got going on. Shout out job. So, <laughs> oh man, shout out job, for real. It's But I wanted to take off more because it's the summer now. Mm -hmm. So, mm, I'm still going to be prepared for whatever comes my way. Right. But as of right now, it's easy for me to, to balance out my rapper life in my... In person life. Yeah. That's dope. So... But I'm going to be honest. At work, I work with kids and I work with families. The parents know who I am. The mm. kids know who I am. So it's like, dang. Blowing up. It's like everywhere. Yeah. You know, I can't even work. Yeah. I mean, I can work, but it's like almost to the point where I, I, I'm not going to have to work no more. Mm-hmm. Cause it's, and it's, I love it's that. Yeah, it's happening. I love it's that. <laughs> um, so, how do Big K deal with negativity? Like becoming an artist is different because your 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 artistry is always out there. Somebody's gonna always be reporting. Somebody's always gonna be writing. Somebody's always yeah. gonna have something negative to say. How do Big K deal with that? Deal, the I trolls, deal, as we I just deal said. with the trolls and negativity. I'm gonna be honest. Some stuff get under my skin, but like I'm starting to realize. Like I've been starting to realize once they was on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. It was on Instagram first when it was like some people was like, "You gonna keep doing the same dance over and over?" Yes, I am because it's making me money. Yes, because you keep tapping in. Yes, because you commented and saying it. Of course, I'm gonna keep doing it. But it's like the trolls in Milwaukee. It be like the trolls people making me their profile pictures like. Oh no! And stuff like that, I gotta realize I have a platform. I am big. I am somebody now. Right, you're a celebrity so now. Yeah, I am a celebrity now. So I'm going. That's what comes with it. So right. I can't take it under the skin because at the end of the day, you still watching me. You still helping me get oh, paid. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. So like now, I'm I'm handling trolls really well. Like okay, cool. She said that about me. I don't really care. Mm, Before. Okay. I was arguing with the I was I was commenting was back. Comment? I was commenting back. <laughs> I was commenting back. Oh, Cause who man. you talking about? Especially yeah. people who I know. What? Like, come on now. Stop playing. Oh man. Okay. So so what's next for Big K? Like, what what's next, man? What what can we look forward to? So what's next? Um, I got a few shows coming up this summer. I got one with Rissa Fam. Um Go crazy. Ju June seventh. And then I got another one. I got more coming up, but these are the two big ones that's coming up for right now. Juneteenth, I'm trying to get with Summerfest. Oh, Summerfest. I'm trying up. to get with yeah. Summerfest. If Summerfest. I can get with Summerfest, <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to get with Summerfest because I'm speaking it into right, existence. Right, I'm manifesting right, that. I right. want to be on Summerfest, so I'm going to go to Summerfest. But also, New York. I'm doing a mic drop in New York. Oh, uh, Radar? No, not no, yet. Not radar, radar soon, though. Okay. Radar hey, soon, though. Hey, hey, hey. Radar soon. That's that's soon. That's coming. That is manifested. Too. <laughs> that's so, manifested right there. That's coming. <laughs> but that's a few things I got that's coming up right now. That's dope. And then Bow. I dropped Bow on Wednesday, so. This Wednesday coming up? Yep. Oh, it ain't dropped yet. Mm -mm. Oh. Bow drops on Wednesday. Oh, go crazy. Um, Why did I think that was out already? No. That's dope. So let me put a few, few clips of it out. That was a few. Okay, that's yeah. what it was. Bow drops on Wednesday. Okay, and then Walla. Walla dropped. Walla and Walla went crazy. Oh my god! Hey, if y'all ain't checked, Walla they listening out. to Walla in Canada, boo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if y'all ain't checked Walla out, y'all gotta check that song out, man. It's did on you, all platforms. Did you see the video today? Yes. Oh, oh y'all gotta check that out too, man. Like I can't wait. Um, you know what? Before we get up out of here, I got to ask you one more question, man. Let's go. Because, you know, we got to go pay some bills and stuff. You know, lights <laughs> getting cut off and stuff. I'm joking. I'm playing. Um, can we see any features coming with you, Big Frank, and JP? Yes. <laughs> I just had to ask that. Cause you got one. <laughs> bow. Big Frank is on bow. Oh, go crazy. Hey, you heard it first here on Cash Up TV. Oh, my God. I'm messing up Cash Up TV. For, come on, Big Frank. Hey, can, can, can we get that single? Can we? Yeah. Okay, say less. It. Frank is on it. <laughs> say less, say less. Oh, my God. He is on that? Yeah. Oh, y'all going crazy. Milwaukee, y'all show love with each other down there. That's <laughs> busting, dog. You know what? When we get it, we going to listen to it. But I ain't going to send it to y'all until she drop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, You know what? Let everybody know where they can go find you at and, and check out your music and all that you stuff. Y'all can go find me on Instagram at 414.kennedy. And my YouTube is 414.kennedy. I have two YouTubes and I have another one. It's Big K. That's the one where Walla and Bow is gonna drop. 
where you can go listen to the songs. And my TikTok is 414.kennedy as well. Oh, my God. Those Make sure platforms. y'all... Make sure y'all go tap in. I'm going to leave all that stuff in the link in the description so you can check it out. And make sure y'all go run up her numbers on her music, run up her numbers on her videos, run up all the numbers. Make sure y'all tap in now. Don't try to tap in too late because if you tap in too late, it's just going to be too late. I'm your host, Show Me Cash. This is Cash Up TV. We have to sit down and we're going to go pay these bills. Walla, walla.